In this video, we'd like to share how the integration between Acronis Backup Cloud and Plesk works. Acronis Backup Cloud is a powerful hybrid cloud backup solution for managed service providers that protects all the customer systems and mobile devices anytime, anywhere, and faster than anyone else. In turn, Plesk is a highly customizable commercial web hosting platform targeted at web hosters, digital agencies, content managers, IT admins, and end customers. It offers an exclusive set of more than 100 certified extensions that allow any web hoster to differentiate themselves in the market and offer a unique bundle of high quality services for their customers. Acronis Backup Cloud and Plesk are natively integrated with each other by means of the Acronis Backup Extension for Plesk. This extension enables full image-based backups of entire Plesk servers including all the websites, mailboxes, and databases. Moreover, it allows granular self-service recovery of a website, individual files, mailboxes, and databases using the Plesk user interface. Finally, along with full backups, it also supports incremental backups, which allows reducing of time on the server and the network. Let's imagine a web hoster who has been using Plesk and wants to further differentiate themselves in the market by providing high-quality backup and data protection services for their customers. Therefore, they select the Acronis Backup Cloud as one of the most innovative and reliable data protection solutions available in the market. First, we will show you a step-by-step -step how the web hoster can install and configure the Acronis Backup Extension for Plesk, and then we'll demonstrate for you how the web hoster can perform backup and recovery operations directly from the Plesk user interface. Let's start with the installation and configuration settings. Thus, log into the Plesk account and navigate to Extensions, and then Extensions Catalog. Here you can see all the commercial and free extensions that have been officially approved and certified by Plesk. Look for the Acronis Backup Extension. As you can see, this is a commercial extension whose price depends on the storage allocated for backups and subscription billing intervals. It should be noted that one extension can be installed only on one server. Thus, if you have two Plesk servers, you need to purchase two Acronis Backup Extension licenses. We assume that you already have installed the Acronis Backup Extension by pressing the Install button. As the next step, you need to buy a license for the installed extension. Let's purchase a basic license for one server and 100 gigabytes of storage with monthly billing. Thus, press the Buy Now button and complete all the required information such as company name, street address, admin's name, and email. As a payment option, you can choose either credit card or PayPal. As soon as you purchase the extension, it will appear under Server Management. And as the next step, you need to activate the Purchase Extension License. Thus, navigate to Server Management and then Acronis Backup. Since we've purchased the Acronis Backup Cloud License just for the first time, let's create a new account by clicking on the corresponding tab. Complete all the required information such as login and password for the Acronis Backup Cloud account and an email that will be used for receiving notifications. Select the appropriate backup storage location. And press the Create and Activate button to complete this operation. As the next step, you'll be asked to install a backup agent and some additional packages and updates. Press the Enable button and start the installation process.
As soon as the installation process is over, you will see the Acronis Backup Dashboard presenting information about the last and next scheduled backups and allocated and used storage spaces. This information is imported automatically from Acronis Backup Cloud. Therefore, if you would like to reschedule your backup options, just go to the Acronis Backup Cloud web console and amend the corresponding backup plan. Navigate to the Settings tab. Here you can change the following settings. First, you can upgrade the storage allocated for backups by amending your Acronis Backup Extension license. Second, you can change the email address used to receive the Acronis Backup Cloud notifications. Finally, you can specify the types of notifications you'd like to receive. Based on the good practices of our partners, we recommend eliminating excessive warnings by disabling the options about notify about backup warnings, and notify about successful backups. That was it with settings. Wasn't it really easy? Are you excited to see how this works? Let's have a look. First, we will perform a full server backup from Plesk's user interface. Thus, in the dashboard panel, Next Backup, click Run Now. Depending on the server configuration, this operation might take a couple of minutes. You can trace the backup progress in the dashboard panel, Last Backup. As soon as the backup is created, it appears in the Backups tab. By default, all the stored backups are ordered according to the date of creation. As the next step, we will perform a full server recovery and a granular recovery of individual items such as files and databases. In order to perform a full server recovery, navigate to the Backups tab and select the desired recovery point and press the Recover Entire Server button. Please notice that in the case of a full server recovery, all the data changes taken place since the selected recovery point will be lost permanently. Thus. Think twice before installing a full server recovery. The recovery progress can be traced in the Acronis Backup Cloud web console. Along with full server recovery, you can perform a granular recovery of individual files, folders, and PLUS databases. In order to perform a granular recovery, navigate to the Backups tab and click on the desired recovery point. Select an item to recover, for example, an individual file, and press the Recover button. Alternatively, you can download the selected items and store them on a local machine. As regards the recovery of databases, you can perform either recovery to the original location or recovery of a new database. If you choose the recovery to the original location, the existing database will be overwritten. If the database no longer exists, it is recreated automatically. If the missing database had a user assigned, you may need to reassign this user manually. In turn, if you perform recovery as a new database, a new database with the name containing the original name suffix will be created on the PLUS server. The existing database is not affected. If the original database had a user assigned, you may need to reassign this user to the new database manually. Along with recovery operations, you can download and save a database dump of your local machine. It should be noted that granular recovery can be performed by both the web hoster and the customer. In order to enable the self-service for a specific customer, navigate to the section Service Plans, select a service plan assigned to the desired customer, Click on the Permissions tab and enable Customers to Recover Their Files, Databases, and Mailboxes by ticking the corresponding checkbox. Press the Update and Sync button to save the changes. Finally, let's have a look at granular recovery of a mailbox performed by the administrator 
on behalf of the customer. Therefore, navigate to the section Customers, look for the desired customer, and log in using the customer's credentials. Go to the Acronis Backup Extension, select a suitable recovery point, select an individual mailbox to recover, and press the Recover button. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of Acronis Backup Cloud and its extension for Plesk? You have the opportunity to Try our innovative data protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Backup Cloud. Have fun!